Welcome back to my channel. I currently am working on uploading the vlog and it is actually behind me on my computer uploading. So today I went on a hike and I did Dream Lake with my mom and I made both a vlog and a review of Dream Lake. So the vlog is uploading right now and the review I think, well it's uploading right now to my computer not to YouTube. So I think I want to post my review and then my vlog. So this video will go up first and it will probably go up tomorrow morning and what I want or this morning if you're watching it right now and I want my vlog to go up after the video has gone up of Dream Lake because my review of Dream Lake is going to be more of like the serious like review of how Dream Lake is and my vlog is going to be more fun jokey stuff so both of them are different and hopefully I'm going to try to make sure I don't include the same clips in both videos. First, I am going to show just how Dream Lake went. I'm going to show the hike. I'm going to show how we got there. I'm going to show what it was like at the top. And then at the very end of this video, I'll go over what I think, what I would rate Dream Lake as. And I'm going to rate Dream Lake on two different things. I'm going to rate it on if on how hard it was. So if I thought it was strenuous or difficult. And then I'm also going to rate it on if I think it was worth it. So it was a hike that was worth it. Because in my opinion, I always think that when I when I want to go hiking, I always want hikes to be worth it. I want there to be a beautiful scene at the end that makes the whole entire walk of a mountain worth it. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm also going to include more statistics about Dream Lake at the end, like how much was the hike elevation gain, how long was it, and that kind of thing. So stay tuned until the end so that you can see if you think that Dream Lake would be a good hike for you. So let's get on with the video. We are about to go on Dream Lake hike and I will just film little bits and pieces along the way. So here we go. Yeah, the first part of the hike is straight up. All right, we are headed up. I got my spikes on, which I need them for today because it's really snowy. It sounds icy, but it's pretty snowy. All right, we made it up the first part. So we still have the next up part, and then it gets pretty easy after that. But you gotta make it to this part. Here comes mom, Watch trudging mom along. Here's the view. Not the best view currently, but. Oh, hello. That's kind of pretty. It is, but you can see all. Got quite a bit of wind coming through here, but just died down a little. A bunch of snow just fell off this tree. I wish I would have gotten it. But every time the wind kicks up, it only goes for like a second, and then I can't catch it. But it's pretty windy. All right, made it to Nymph Lake. It's a huge clearing now because it's frozen. So normally in the summer you walk all the way around it that way. But in the winter, you can just walk right over it. That's what we're doing and I'll show you some of the parts that don't have snow over them and you can actually see the lake. All right, here's the water there. It's not quite frozen yet, but it's a tad bit bumpy out here, but you can see I can stand on it no problem. It's kind of cracked there though, that's a little concerning. It's definitely all the way frozen 100%, so. Woo! That is like, I'm starting to slide. <laughs> Even with spikes, you can slide just well, like when you're in a car. The snow is so light, it just moves and then you hit the ice and it's like. Yeah, there's about, I would say, not about a foot right here just, um, of just, what's this stuff called? Snow. Powder, fresh powder. Since I'm sliding everywhere, I have two pairs of leggings on so that when I get in the car, I can take one pair off and it'll be dry. So, hikers know, wear two pairs of leggings because then you can take one pair off and you're rolling.
Okay, so right down there is Nymph Lake, and his people right there. I'm pretty sure we're down there when we were down there, but anyways. Dude was filming me. almost to Dream Lake. I see the Dream Lake sign up ahead. So, it means we made it. We made it. Dream Lake. Okay, it's a little windy. So, we'll see. I don't know if we're even gonna be able to see the mountains up here. All right, during the summer, this is where the waterfall starts. So, there's a little bridge right here. And then, down that river that guy is standing is where the waterfall is, so. This is quite the wind tunnel. get the camera back out to record. These girls have whatever those things are called. What are those called? Snow paddles? Just kidding. Snowshoes. Okay. So if you can see really way down there, let's see if I can zoom right there. That is Bear Lake where we started. And this is just a little place that's off to the side and it's just really pretty. Um, right down there is Nymph Lake. And then behind that right there is um, Dream Lake, but you can't see it. So. The first rating I wanted to give Dream Lake was on how difficult it was. So, in my opinion, I do not think that Dream Lake is that hard of a hike. I believe it is 1.1 miles up to the top of Dream Lake. Alright, 
and the elevation for Dream Lake, the elevation gain is 450 feet. So it's not that much of an elevation gain. It also, the highest elevation is 9,910 feet. So you're not really that high up either. I, in other hikes I've done, I don't start to notice a difference in my breathing until I'm at about 11,000 feet, I would say, and then I can notice a difference. So I think that that overall is pretty easy. So it took us about 45 minutes to get from the bottom to the top. I checked it on my Fitbit, and I think it was about, when we got to the top, I looked at it, and it said we went 1.43 miles. So sometimes the marks on the trail and how long it is, I don't think are always 100% accurate, but my Fitbit might also not be 100% accurate, so I'm not really sure which measure you would want to go by. But 45 minutes up and that was with stopping to make snow angels which you'll see in my vlog and take videos so that I don't think is too bad and then on the way down it was about 30 minutes so that isn't too bad either so overall difficulty I would probably rate dream lake as about I would say about a two or a three overall because I just don't think it's that difficult but again if you are someone who I mean, I don't think you have to be, like, ridiculously in shape. Like, you can always stop and rest, but if you're just someone who isn't really into hiking and isn't really into going up hills or mountains, this probably isn't the hike for you. But I would probably rate it as about a two or a three difficulty level. The next thing I want to rate Dream Lake in is how much it was worth it. So was it worth it to get to the top? Was it worth it to hike the one point whatever miles to get to the top? And I would say on this, I would definitely give Dream Lake probably a 9 out of 10 on worth it because I, I just adored this hike. I went on this hike when I was in middle school and I fell in love with it. So I've always loved it ever since. And today, though, I would probably rate it about a 2 worth it miss because it was so windy and you couldn't even see the mountain so I'm actually in sort of clips so you can see what it looks like in the winter because last winter we went and you could see it so I'm just going to insert what it should have looked like but it was really windy today and there was just snow blowing everywhere so worth it miss today I would say it was probably about a two or three again but overall worth it miss I would say 9 out of 10, and I don't even know if worth itness is a word, but I just made it up, and I will probably use it in future videos, so worth itness, there you go. So, overall, worth it, go do it, it is awesome, I absolutely adore it, and I can't wait to hike it again this summer, and then I think I want to do a summer versus winter dream lake video, just like, which one's better, keep watching for that. Alright, so that is all I have for today for you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please look forward to watching the vlog, which should be up later today, I hope, if my computer posts it when it's supposed to. And I actually, I really like the vlog. I think it's so funny, and my mom and I just had a blast. So please watch that, and please hit subscribe below, and give this video a thumbs up because I'm a brand new YouTuber. Again, I feel like I explained this every video, but I would just love it if you would subscribe below and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for hikes or you disagree with me on something or agree with me on something, please comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts about my videos. So please do that. And I look forward to seeing you guys in a future vlog. So thank you for watching. One more thing that I forgot to say that I wanted to add in really quick is Rocky Mountain National Park is not dog friendly. We saw a dog there today and I don't know what they were doing because you're allowed to have dogs in the parking lot but you're not allowed to have them on the hikes. So I think you can get in a lot of trouble if you take your dog on a hike. So I just highly recommend leaving your dog at home unfortunately. Willow got to stay home and sleep all day which she was very happy to do. So missed her today but I promise she will be in future hikes. Maybe one coming up next week, and I do plan on doing another vlog because we are going skiing slash snowboarding, so I can't wait for that, so be on the lookout. Thank you!